This video I'm going to show you how to create your own custom scraping middleware that's going to rotate user agents that you decide for you. So middleware in Scrapy lets us latch on to, in this case, the request and the response and then change it as we see fit. So in the settings.py, this is just a standard uh, Scrapy project uh, created with the Scrapy Start project. I'm going to uncomment the downloader middlewares section. Now there are spider middlewares too, but we are only going to be looking at the downloader middlewares in this case. So I'll save that. If we look at the middlewares.py file, it actually gives us all of this information at, uh, to hand here in it so we can see with the comments what all of this stuff does. Now the one that I'm interested in today is in the downloader middleware section and we have this process request and process response. So what I can do is we can look at this and we can say okay we don't need to return anything back because returning just continues processing the request. So we're going to write our own middleware based on this. I'm actually just going to copy this here, go back to the top and we'll start by writing our first class. So I'm going to call this one uh, show uh, request headers middleware like this. Now what we want to do is we're going to paste in what we copied below which has the uh, function name, the self, takes in the, takes in the request uh, and the spider as well. So from here what we want to do is we're just going to print out the request headers. So to do that I'm going to create an s-string just so it's a bit easier to see at the top. And I'm going to write request headers and then in here we can actually just ask for request.headers like this. Now to activate this middleware we need to copy the name, go back to our settings file and we need to add it in here. So I'm going to duplicate this line. And where it says our uh, download and middleware, I'm going to replace that name with the name of the class middleware that I just created. Now the lower the number here will depict on what goes, uh, the order in which these go. So I'm just going to lower this one to 540 in this case. So now that that's saved, we should see when we run our spider that this middleware is activated and then whatever we've put in it, in this case just trying to print out the request headers, actually shows up. So let's open a terminal. I'm going to run scrapey crawl, hit enter, and we'll see here's the information from the page. And we'll look up here, info enabled, download at middlewares, and here is our show request middleware header. So scroll down and we can see we have request headers printed out twice. That's because in this case we are making a request to the robots.txt file as well. That's why there's two requests. But we can see we have basically a dictionary that has the headers that we sent to the server. One of them is the user agent here, which is the default scraper user agent, which we we'll wanted to change. Now, if you want to just change it, generally you can do that in the settings, but we want to rotate through a few different ones. Um, each time we make a request. So let's go back to our middlewares file and let's create a new class. So let's call this class and we'll call this rotate uh, request, uh, we'll actually we'll call this rotate user agent middleware and we're going to have the same process request because it's going to happen on the same request at the same time. And what we want to do now is we want to have a uh, user agent uh, variable and we're going to say that that is going to be equal to random dot choice. So we are going to need to import random so we can do that here. So we'll do import random. Now we need to have a list here of user agents that we can choose at random to uh, fulfill this. We'll construct our user agent list in just a second, but to change it, we would then do request.headers and specify the user agent key like this is going to be equal to the user agent that we are about to set. Now, you could put the user agent list wherever you like. I just dumped it at the bottom of my settings.py file like this, which means I can import it nice and easily. At the top, I can just do. Um, from dot settings import the user agents like this. 
and I can put it in here because it's a list. So when this middleware gets called, it's going to choose a user agent randomly from the list and assign it to the request before the request is made. Now to activate this, we'll copy the name, come back to our settings, go back to our downloader middlewares. Again, let's duplicate this line. Let's put this one um, above our show headers so we can actually change the, change the user agent here and then show it to us back. So let's just make this one 535. Uh, let's save that. Now we can go back and make the request again, run the scrapey crawl, scroll back up. So if we go to the enabled middleware section, you'll see we have our uh, rotate user agent middleware. I'll scroll down. And now in our request headers, we have this one here that ends uh, this like Gecko is a Mozilla one, Firefox. And then the second one here, the second request, so obviously making two, actually has a different one here. So that's how we can use our custom middleware to rotate through user agents using Scrapey. Now I'm going to show you something else which is quite interesting. We're going to look at the response headers. Uh, very similar in a way. I'm actually going to change my request headers here. I'm just going to call this show headers middleware. So I'm going to copy this, update this now before I forget. Save that. We're going to go and scroll down and we have under this one process response. So let's copy that and we look at it's telling us here that we need to make sure that we return the response. So we will make sure we do that. Let's put this here and we're going to copy this essentially because we want to see the response headers and we'll just change this to say response and response dot headers and we need to make sure that we return the response out of this function. So let's save and run. Let's clear this up and run. Check our middlewares in the top of our file, show headers middleware, and I can see it already here. So here we are. Here's the first request with this user agent from our list, and here's the first response headers back. We can see you get all of these back here. Gives you quite a bit of good information. For example, that there, uh, and you'll see this. Now what's interesting is the second time that we actually make the request, we get back a cookie. If I find it along the line here, we have this. It's just off the side. You can see it says set cookie, all of this here. Now what we can do um, is you can actually access this cookie from here and you can then use it throughout the rest of your uh, scrapey program, which it will do nice and easy for you. But I'm just going to show you how you can access that because uh, I thought that was quite interesting. We'll save this. I'll remove those back ticks I put in by accident. And you can just do dot get list and then pass in the name of the uh, header key that you want. So when you run this, you just return that one back here. Scroll up. So we'll see that our response headers the first time are nothing because we only wanted the cookie. And the second time round, we actually just get that cookie back. Now, if you've enjoyed this, but you want to work a bit more on basic scrapey, you're going to enjoy this video right here.